up guys kid i was six here and like i said in my recent uh, upload for shout out sunday i was going to do a new updated version for the xbox one nat type a more in-depth look at it so i guess you can call this an updated version for the 2018 xbox nat type of course it has the same exact steps as my previous video for a few months ago uh, with resetting your xbox but i want to make sure you guys just before we get started one one or two things you want to make sure that you have uh, available while you're doing this process is one the name of your router um for me i have maybe five or six houses around me that i can connect to all their internet services so you want to know that you're picking the right one to try to put your password into so you're not wasting your time and trying to put it into your neighbor's internet um trying to get to your neighbor's internet not your own so make sure you have your internet router pass uh name and then you also want to have your internet router password because um it may for some it may not but it's going to make it to where whenever you reconnect with your xbox back to your internet it may want you to re-put the password in um it just depends on how you have your internet access set up um and another thing i like i said i was going a little bit more in depth with this video so like i said um in this video unlike the uh, the last one i'm actually going to show you how one it's fairly simple to unplug your router obviously and your ethernet cable uh, but for those of you that don't do not know i will be throwing that in the video as well as a couple things to avoid touching on your router that you do not want to mess up um because if you do touch um a sp specifically one button on your router which is the reset button a little red button you're going to on some uh, internet providers that resets the actual password so you would then um, I know I had to with my last internet provider. Uh, they actually had to come back out um, and reset my or fix my router for me, and then put the password back on there. It actually set it back to like a factory setting, which um, if you don't keep the password from the factory, like from right out of the box, if you don't keep that password and you change it to your own that you make up, then you have to have them come back out and give you the password, or you may be able to call them um, on the phone and be able to. To possibly get that password I'm not sure I actually had to have someone come out and do that for me so let's go ahead and get right into the first steps like I said this is the um, same steps in the last video um, we're gonna hit the home button we're gonna go over to our settings and then we're gonna go down to network settings and right here uh, my NAT type is actually open it is open because I actually have already done this process to check my router to make sure you know how long is it going to take for my router to actually come back on? Um, but specifically that I don't want to be sitting down here waiting for this to restart and it takes 30 minutes. This actually, the process of what, uh, unplugging and the internet fully coming back on takes about 5 to 10 minutes just depending. Um, but right here my NAT type is open. Now let's go with the assumption that the NAT type was actually moderate or strict. So um, what we're going to do now is skip to the next part of the video where I actually will show you how to unplug the router, unplug the Ethernet cord, and when you do that, I would recommend leaving it unplugged for maybe 5 minutes. You can do 10 minutes. I know um, when I called my uh, internet provider a few months ago, they said 30 minutes, it will ensure that all everything has turned off. Like if you have Direct TV, it turns the internet off on that, your Xbox, your computer, your phones. It just the longer you leave it off the the you're ensuring that everything is disconnected is not trying to search for uh that service um which is why you want to have the password because it pretty much keeps your it resets the password for um to where you have to put it back in on a device so let's go ahead and skip to the next part of the video resetting the router and um checking when well, i already checking right now we're just going to reset the router and unplug the ethernet cable the um, Ethernet cable is the green wire, and the bottom down there is the um, power cable. Um, <clears throat> we're going to un unplug both of those, and we're also going to show you the button that you do not want to press. So let's go ahead and unplug the Ethernet cable and the power cable. Okay, so the button you want to avoid touching is that red button right there. Let's see if we can get that into focus. Please. Okay, right there. You see where it says reset button? You do not want to touch that because that, like I said, it will reset your router to where you may have to have your internet provider come out there, uh, fix your password for you unless you are able to call customer support and they will actually, they may have it for you. I, had to, Like I said, I had to have someone actually come out and do it for me um, because I couldn't get it any other way. So we're going to leave this unplugged, like I said, for about 5 to 10 minutes, plug everything back up and then we'll go to the next part of the video. Go over to home, 
scroll over where your system is and then go to turn off console and reset console of course right now we are going to reset which is pretty much refresh the whole xbox is going to shut it all the way down um and go ahead and restart um which if it's a moderate or strict you're then going to go to um resetting your router and unplugging the ethernet cable for five to ten minutes whichever you prefer um and after you do that you're then going to um go to first turn on your xbox controller uh but go home uh down to restart console i've just now done that that's why the xbox actually just not started back up um but once you went to reset uh restart your console you're then going to go to your settings uh network settings to check our xbox one nat type and right there as you can see our xbox one nat type is back to open um if you guys have any other issues i have went through the pro this process um uh months ago even weeks ago where resetting your router it keeps giving you moderate and moderate and moderate for the most part my opinion most xboxes or online uh, or consoles stay at a moderate nat type i play on a moderate nat type for the most part um and don't really have that many issues often i might have one every one or two a month um but that is th those are the steps right there you know resetting your router restarting your console um and then checking your nat type again um it might take for me it only took one try sometimes it takes two um but i recommend before you guys leave me a nasty mean comment or something in the, uh, the comment section try this process um one well two or three times if it doesn't work the first time just to make sure and for the most part it should fix your nat type most likely on the second or third try but i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you find that it is useful Please make sure to like and subscribe to the channel and thank you guys for watching.